So we're going to create an NS number formatter singleton in Swift. Now, there's a great Stack Overflow post all about the different ways to create a singleton in Swift, but I wanted to use an example. And I wanted to create an NS number formatter example because NS number formatter is kind of expensive operation in Swift. In this case, we're going to create an NS number formatter that just changes the number 15 into a currency like $15. So first we're going to import the foundation library. Then we're going to declare a class called currency formatter, which is going to inherit from the NS number formatter class. Now in order to inherit from the NS number formatter class, you have to implement a required init function called init, and then this third line down here, coder, a decoder, NS coder function. Then we all we do is just call the super.init and then the same function, coder, a decoder. Now this isn't important to the screencast, so we can, you can mostly ignore it. But next we need to override the standard init function. And inside the init function, first all we're going to do is call the super.init function. Next I'm just going to paste in some code. And all it is is some details about how to make the currency formatting work correctly. Now if you're using Swift 1.2 or above, we're almost done. All we need to do is declare a type constant. Now to do that, all we need to do is declare the static let keywords, and then we'll call it shared instance, and then we'll initialize it to an instance of our currency formatter class. Now we can check this by just printing it out. So we'll call currency formatter formatter.shared instance. Now NS number formatter has a method called string from number, string from number, and all we do is pass in a number, so in this case we'll just pass in 20, and then we'll unwrap the optional so we can see it. And you can see now that our number is formatted to $20. And if we copy this and change it to 50, you can see it works as well. Now if we want to double check this, we can look at our currency formatter shared instance and see that it is in fact one instance and we'll just print it out. And I'll slide this over so we can see this. So we print out our instance and then again we'll just copy this and print it out on the next line below and you can see it's the same instance. Now if you're using a version of Swift below 1.2, you can't actually declare type constants on reference types like classes. So we'll have to do this a different way. So this time we're going to declare a class variable, which we'll call our shared instance. And this time instead of initializing it, we're going to declare it as a currency formatter type. And then we're going to use these curly braces. Now what the curly braces does is declare this as a read-only computed property, which means instead of storing a value for this property, it just computes it every time that it's called. In this case, it, it means we have to return an instance of currency formatter every time that this property is called. So we'll see how we can do that. But first, we're going to declare a struct inside of this property. So we declare a struct called static. Now, Structs in Swift are value types, and in versions below 1.2, value types can have type constants. So in this case, we're going to take advantage of that because type constants allow us to do certain things. In this case, create something like a singleton. So we're going to declare it a type constant using static let, and then call it instance, and then initialize it to an instance of our currency formatter class. Now, forgive me, Xcode is freaking out on me right now, but just ignore that. And then we need to return our static.instance property at the end of this uh, computed property. And you can see Xcode is freaking out a little bit, but if we check this error, it just goes away. The compiler is just having a temporary problem. But you can see now our numbers are formatted again. So we're getting the correct currency formatting. And we can check again that our shared instance is a computed, or excuse me, is, a, is the same instance by printing it out. And then if we, I'll create some more room so we can see this. Slide this over. If we copy this again, you can see that it is in fact the same instance. So that's how we can do that as well. So this is how we create a NS number singleton in Swift. 
So thank you for checking out my video. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to check my website for additional videos and content that I'll be releasing there. If you'd like to find out more information, head over to my website at amdelong.com and sign up for the Swift newsletter. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later.